What I'm about to talk about is a story that is so sickening, you might need to take a break, you might need to maybe find a different video because this is gonna be a, a very serious topic and it comes from Germany. Um, this was something that happened very recently, March 17th-ish uh, to be exact, and um, I couldn't believe it when I saw the title of the article, but we're gonna be talking about it. There was a girl who was stabbed to death in a horrific German murder over a boy. Over a boy. And we're going to be getting into that today. Uh, hints of what caused a child to bully and then kill 12-year-old friend emerge in picturesque village. A 12-year-old victim who is known only as Luis was found dead on Sunday. And classmates have alleged on TikTok that the girls 12 and 13 killed her over a boy. Former friends reportedly bullied the girl for months before stabbing her in revenge. Now, there are more details to this very unfortunate story, and we're going to get into the nitty gritty. I was made aware of this uh, by a few of my fellow subscribers and whatnot. So, uh, you know, thank you for letting me know. This does need to be talked about, I feel like, I'm kind of shining more light on the situation and the bigger issue that we will address at the end of this video. The two killers, aged 12 and 13, allegedly posted a sick video of themselves dancing on TikTok the day after they stabbed their victim, named only as Luis, more than 30 times. Now, listen to that. They were on TikTok dancing the day after they stabbed the victim 30 times, 30 times. Not three, not 13, three zero, 30, 30. Right. Um, it has since emerged that Louise, who went missing after leaving the 13 year old girl's house in Freudenberg, was killed by her two classmates in revenge after she told an adult that they had been bullying her for months, according to German newspaper Bild. That's so sad. That is so sad. Um, a lot of people, especially in the younger years, uh, I know the preteen years are probably some of the most volatile for things like that. Um, it's, it, it, you, you are a bright red target for bullies to come in, you know, um, have their way with you a lot of times, you know, and it's very difficult. I remember being that age and being picked on myself and um, other people being picked on and having similar experiences and whatnot. But what's even more disheartening is people who get picked on report it and then get penalized by the bully they were trying to report to the point that they lose their lives or they take their own. Maybe they're pushed to the point that they take their own. Other theories have involved comments under the girl's alleged TikTok dance post, which indicate that, that a boy was involved. Luis's body was found in a pool of blood on Sunday in a wooded area near the town of Freudenberg in the western state of North Rhine-Westphalia after she was stabbed more than 30 times. This is the girl unfortunately. Very, very sad stuff, man. Very fucking sad. Very sad, man. Way too young to be going out like that. Like, what the heck? Well, I mean, I don't understand what would possess someone to do this to anybody, you know? <sighs> man, very sad stuff, man. The shocking social media videos came to light during research by a German Welt journalist who revealed that one of the dance videos was posted on Sunday, the day the victim, known only as Louise due to Germany's strict privacy laws, was found. The shameless pair also allegedly posted a video pleading for the help to find Louise on Saturday after she had been missing since 5 p.m., knowing exactly where the schoolgirl's body would be found after they stabbed her to death. So this was premeditated. They stabbed this young girl. They hid her body in the woods. I'm assuming they hid it or they just left it there. And then so they could draw attention from themselves, they are like, hey, our friend's missing. If you can find her, let us know. That's messed up. The shameless pair also allegedly, um, oh, actually, no, I, I just read this. Many of the girl's classmates are said to have repeatedly brought up that an unnamed boy had caused the fight between the best friends. The comment section of the video was reportedly flooded with messages with one person writing, I can't believe you're posting a dance video the day after the murder. Another classmate reportedly added, when your chair in the classroom was empty this morning, we all knew what was going on. 
Other videos posted on the TikTok page were also reportedly in, inundated with messages asking, how could you do this? Or I can't believe it. So people aren't dumb. We're in an, a day and age now where there's almost little left to the imagination since everybody posts everything on social media, right? Um, a lot of the crimes that get committed, the murders that happen, um, you know, uh, essay cases and whatnot, people tell on themselves all the time. These girls quite literally dry snitched on themselves. Um, it, it was it, there was a whole beef that led up to this. All eyes are on this beef. These girls bullied this this the, bullied their victim. Unfortunately, right, the victim unfortunately had to suffer through their shenanigans, and then they uh, took the life of this girl over a boy. And everyone was immediately aware that they were the perpetrators. This was as cut and dry as the Epstein situation. Everybody know Epstein didn't take his own life. We all know that shit, isn't it? Was Epstein a bad man? Absolutely. But everybody knows Epstein did not take his own life. You know what I'm saying? So this was a situation where um, this girl was brutally murdered by these two absolute demons of human beings. Uh, and it's, it's, it's refreshing to at least a little bit to know that the classmates knew what was going on and tried to spread the awareness to get authorities involved, which they definitely did. Uh, since the TikTok videos emerged, there has been disbelief that the police who had been very tight lipped with information about the murder so far allowed the 13 year old murderer to remain active on TikTok and didn't block the account so users could continue watching her videos and read the comments. The girl's social media accounts are offline now, a police spokesperson said on Friday, March 17th. Despite their profiles not being active anymore, the 13 year old's videos have been posted by other users, as well as screenshots of the videos where she is concerned for her friend or dancing the day after stabbing Luis. Louise went missing on Saturday afternoon, March 11th. I know I said the 17th. I was only looking at the day of the article, so that's my bad. March 11th, after a sleepover from Friday to Saturday with the 13-year-old friend at her house, who is said to be more reserved than cheeky. In the town's Hohenheim district, two miles from Louise's own home. Although they had known each other for years, uh, took the school bus together and were even in the same class in school. It was not clear why Luis and her killer met up in light of the bullying accusations. So the questions are coming up as to, well, if she was being bullied and stuff like that, why would she meet up with her bullies in a private location for this to happen? I mean, love does some crazy things, bro. Man, this is the memorial in uh, Freudenberg. Residents in Freudenberg, North Rhine-Westphalia, laid flowers and placed candles near the wooded area where the body was located. This is so sad, man. So sad. So sad, bro. So what we can confirm is this is a very messed up situation. I do think that this all stems from, um, you know, this current stint of social media. While we do think things have gotten a lot more sensitive online, I would also argue that in the same breath that things have gotten a little bit more sensitive as far as people being a little bit more, um, I guess, emotional with certain, with, with, with responses that are like, bro, like whatever, um, the world has become far more desensitized, far more, like it's the, probably the most desensitized it's ever been Although we are making attempts to make the internet a safer place, um, online bullying is is rampant. There are ways to ostracize and, and isolate people that you wouldn't believe, but the fact that they took it a step even further and actually murdered this girl, bro. Like, I'm surprised there. I mean, yeah, I guess there's laws where you can't like leak minors' names and stuff like that um, to the public, but hey, if that was like, you know, your daughter, your son that was murdered by people in their own classroom, like, wouldn't you want to know their names? Like, wouldn't you want their names to be publicized? Like, so people can understand that these people are horrible people. I feel like that should be the exception to the rule. But I'm not sure like how you guys feel about that. Um, this is tragic. I did not, I mean, I did not expect this. Uh, to happen. I mean, no one expects anything like this to happen, but it did. And I do think that this is tied to, um, you know, uh, 
obviously people just being horrible human beings, but also chasing attention. Like that, it's so clear that these girls wanted attention from both the boy that they that they were fighting over and. Um, and I'm not talking about the victim. I'm talking about the girls that did the TikTok dance after they killed the victim. Um, it's just, it's sickening. It is sickening. Like, what world do we live in? Right? Like, anyways, let me know your thoughts and feelings on this in the comments down below. There's probably at least a few of you guys that live close by this area. I do know a large chunk of my uh, audience is in North Rhine Westphalia. Um, so if you guys know any more details, let me know in the comments down below. We might do an update with what's going on if these girls get brought to justice or if they are, you know, um, you know, let left to walk free. Like what normally what is an, what is a typical punishment for an offense like this is my question, because there's no way they get off scot free. Do they, they, they do they serve life in prison? Because this was an intentional murder, an intentional murder and an attempted cover up. Do they get life in prison? Do they only serve a few years? I know uh, Germany's laws as far as like, you know, prison and jail time and stuff like that can be seemingly lax, but what would happen? Let me know.